Welcome savvy travelers. Today we're spilling the beans on four wallet saving hacks and tricks that will have you soaring through the skies without breaking the bank. Get ready to brace yourselves for a whirlwind of money saving wisdom. Let's go. First tip here is to time your holiday for maximum savings. When it comes to booking flights, the timing can make a massive difference in your wallet. Expedia suggests that booking on a Sunday, regardless of your travel day, can lead to savings of up to 30%. But that's not all. Skyscanner also reveals a sneaky trick. Many airlines release enticing last minute weekend deals actually on Tuesdays. As the competition heats up on Monday evenings, you can score yourself some absolute bargains by Tuesday afternoon. And here's a secret if you're traveling within Europe, including a Saturday night stay in your itinerary can save you up to 34% on average. If you're flying within Central Europe, the savings actually skyrocket to a whopping 74%. Airlines often actually offer lower rates for leisure travelers who stay over the weekend. So all you have to do is plan your trip wisely and you can just watch your savings take off. Now, let's start by saying that this is actually a US tactic, but it can certainly be used in Europe too, or it could just be super handy if you wanted to head over there to the States. Now, a great resource is the platform skiplag.com, which takes inspiration from split ticketing and railways, and it applies it to flights. What this actually involves is booking a flight that has a layover in your desired destination rather than flying directly to it. Surprisingly, it can often be cheaper. Keep in mind that this approach is the most effective if you travel with only carry-on luggage though, so be wary of them. There's also a ton of platforms that can help you snag money off your flights and holidays. It makes a lot of sense to sign up for exclusive flight discounts by subscribing to Jack's Flight Club newsletters. They'll send you regular emails featuring the best deals and updates on airline sales. For example, you might come across return flights from Manchester to Goa, which were priced at an amazing £212. And this is a real flight price that actually occurred. To discover more flight and holiday deals, maybe consider checking out platforms like Travel Zoo or Hot UK Deals, obviously, and Holiday Pirates. However, keep in mind that these deals actually do tend to have limited availability, so it's really important to act quickly. Additionally, you can also maximize your savings by signing up for cashback websites such as Top Cashback and Quickco. For example, Top Cashback regularly offers tempting 10% discounts on flights that are actually booked with Expedia. When it comes to hotels, our expert Fix Layton, however, recommends exploring the option of booking directly with the hotel instead of relying solely on comparison sites. Not only may you find competitive prices, but hotels often offer additional perks such as money off, better rooms, or complimentary breakfast. It's a really smart approach that can lead to both added savings and added value for your stay. Another great tip on our side is to place less emphasis on the one search engine for your flight search. Skyscanner, for an example, offers a quick price overview, and I'm also guilty of using it, but watch out for excessive card charges from certain operators. Meanwhile, if you can use Kayak, it can actually filter options based on card fees, whilst Momondo is also great for providing inspiration. Expedia is also great for flight and hotel combinations. Jack's Flight Club, meanwhile, as we've mentioned, hunts down pricing errors and actually sends you email notifications for these. Our next tip is to learn to book your flights right. Now, this one might seem really Really, really obvious, but we can confirm that it's less sensical than you'd actually expect. Now, the best time to book short haul flights, such as with EasyJet, Ryanair, and the other budget flights, is to book as early as possible. For example, tickets for travel from the 1st of December to the 23rd of March 2024 with EasyJet went on sale on March the 9th, and they're nearly always the cheapest unless there's a sale suddenly drops. Remember, however, always do a flight comparison between different companies. What doesn't make any sense at all is that for long haul flights, they nearly always get cheaper as time goes by. For flights to New York, Bangkok, or Sydney, for example, you should be booking no more than 47 days in advance or even later. For example, here's us trying to book to Los Angeles. You'll find prices either at the same prices or even cheaper next month when compared to next spring. And our last point is one that might not suit everybody, but it can suit actually to home swap or even to look after other people's pets. Signing up for a Love Home Swap or Home Link means that you can actually list your home's details and you search for accommodation where you want to go. If you can perhaps find a week that suits you and the other homeowner, you can actually do a home swap. You might even get access to a car, which would be a plus. Plus, with Love Home Swap, you can also earn points by using the service, and eventually, you don't even need to actually swap for other people with enough points. Now, there's definitely some people who will balk at this, but the truth is that you can actually also grab massive savings on package deals. Sites such as Travel Supermarket and surprise, surprise, Hot UK Deals are great places to search for and pick up package holidays. Often, if you don't like the idea of it all just being decided for you, you can simply just eat elsewhere, or you can even just take a particular flight with them. Even so, they're just a great way to get a good deal and plus they come with consumer protection rights. Plus, look at how many bargains there are on the Hot UK Deal site from Turkey, Tunisia, and even further afield to Cuba and Jamaica.